Ponyfans.com here with cornerback Benny Thomas. A year ago, there was a lot of talk about the Mustangs getting back to a bowl game for the first time in 25 years. Is there a different feel or vibe around the team now that you're back for the second year in a row? Um, the vibe is uh, it's a little, it's still, it's pretty much the same. We're still excited to be here. Um, excited to be playing in the postseason again, but uh, we're trying to take things to another level now. Last year it was just kind of trying to put SMU back on the map, but now we just not only want to put them back, put us back on the map, but you know, just take it to another level. The coaches last year talked about sort of easing the team into the whole process of going to bowl games and talked about the maturity and the growth of the program. Are the coaches approaching this one differently from the way they treat you guys? Um, it's like it's like regular business with Coach Jones and the coaching staff. Um, nothing's, nothing's changed. Practices are still the same, lifting and everything. So just no school now, so we just put more time into football. You guys have played against Navy the last couple of years, and you talk to the front seven about playing the the triple option offense all the time. But from your position in the in the secondary, what are the challenges of facing an offense like this? Um, just not to get bored. The the minute you let your guard down, that's when they hit you for a big one. Just uh, doing your assignment every play, even if nothing's coming at you, you still have to be right on your toes and be ready. Um, when you watch the Army Navy game, or or when you start to look at film. Who jumps out on, on film at you and as particularly impressive from Army's offense? Um, number seven. He's a pretty good player. Um, good size. Um, tough guy. So um, yeah. So we need to um, we need to put hats on him, hit him early and often. Um, they're built around the run, obviously. You know, the ball starts in the quarterback's hands on every play. And their quarterback, Trent Steelman, is a bigger guy than Navy's quarterback, Ricky Dobbs. He goes, uh, I think he's listed at six feet, a little over 200 pounds. How is that different defending a guy who might not be quite as shifty as Navy's quarterback, but is bigger and stronger? Um, Dobbs is pretty strong, even though he's his size, man, I indicated he was pretty strong. But uh, this guy, he, he brings another challenge to us that um, we, have, we just have to get prepared for. And uh, just uh, we just have, like we have to put hats on him, too, and uh, keep getting him down. Your senior year is finishing up. What are your plans uh, after graduation? Um, I'm not sure yet. Just, just going with the flow. Uh, whatever comes my way. Um, I want to get into coaching, so um, I don't know. Just hang around the offices for a little bit. And uh, I still have one more semester of school. I have to come back and take a class or two. But um, I'm just, I'm just waiting. Just being patient. See what opens up.